What's up guys? Welcome to this episode of Vlogmas. Today we're going to show you another recipe. This is for snowball cookies that are uh, low carb and keto friendly. We used to love these cookies uh, when we were keto and we had them at least two times I think last year yeah. when we were keto and uh, last Christmas. And this is um, our own recipe. This is our own recipe. And what you need, you need 80 grams of butter, 100 grams of almond flour, 100 grams of pecans, 40 grams erythritol, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and one teaspoon cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, and some powdered erythritol. And you need to preheat the oven at 190 Celsius, uh, 370 Fahrenheit. So we start with 100 grams of pecan. You need to chop the pecans finely and we're using a food processor uh, but you, you can use your hands. Yeah. It will just take you know, a bit longer time. Yeah. So you, you want to blitz this so it doesn't get into like, so it doesn't get too fine. So just blitz it a couple of times. I would say that looks pretty good. So it's kind of like a crummy consistency you're looking for. And I have 100 grams of almond flour in this bowl. And I will just add the pecans. Here I have 80 grams of butter. And this should be room temperature. Uh, we didn't quite have it out long enough. So we had to have it a couple of seconds in the microwave. So that's fine also if you, so that it gets to room temperature. And I'll just add this in. Then I'll add 40 grams of erythritol, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just starting with combining this with the spatula and I think I will use my hands. And also a reason for using your hands as well is that the butter will kind of further melt and combine well with um, the dry ingredients. Yeah, uh, just one tip if you are low carb and you're like testing out uh, recipes, you, you cannot substitute uh, coconut flour for almond flour, that's very different. So if you want to use coconut flour in this, you would probably need one third or something of the, of the what it says in the recipe. Okay, so what we do to like get equal sizes on the cookies and to know the macros like correctly, we take the whole batter and just find out what it weighs. It's 326 and we want 20 servings so we just divide that by 20. So we know that each cookie needs to be 16 grams. So to a tip to get that is to just, just tear it so it goes to zero and I can just take out so it says 16 and just roll it into a ball however neatly you want to get this. Mm -hmm. Just put there that go. there and just tear it again so it goes to zero take out 16 and you do that 20 times then you want to have these in the middle of the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes just Keep an eye on them so they aren't burnt. Here they are. We might have had them in too long, you think? Just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. But they're supposed to be a little bit like almost burnt like in the bottom there. But it looks like they were in a tiny, tiny bit too long. But that's that because Buddy distracted us. So. And it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for his cuteness. He is distracting every day. So now, uh, you want this to cool. Completely. Yeah. And you cool. I'm cool. Yeah. You cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just be cool. <laughs> <laughs> and let them cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's... Uh, we'll see you soon. That's enough for today. <laughs> okay, now these have cooled. And you can begin to uh, roll them into the powdered erythritol. want to get them nice and coated because it is snowball cookies 
So they should look like snowballs. And these are obviously delicious fresh, like now. But they are really good from the fridge because they kind of firm up a bit. Yeah. And they get a different kind of consistency. Yeah, that's how I would store them as well. In the fridge, right? Yes. Or in the freezer, of course. If you're making many, I would maybe suggest the freezer. Yeah. I don't think these take long to defrost, so. There you go, low carb, keto friendly snowball cookies. And easy to make, so you will have time to make these for Christmas in two or one two days. days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, should I test it out? Yes. Last year we usually ate them out of the fridge and they were like harder in consistency. I can feel that they're a bit soft now. The taste is still extremely good. Like, even though I'm not keto anymore, these are perfectly sweet. I hope you enjoyed this recipe video. If you try them out, please comment and tell me if you like them. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh. Cut!